We are on Loop Creek, Maine, Loop Creek property. We're at the start of a Gawson zone, which stretches for at least a kilometer. You can see Gawson up there. This is highly altered Bonanza Volcanics. We're just exposing a little area in the road right here. Almost looks like a purple color. You got some massive sulfides in there. What I see is mostly massive pyrite. Appreciated sample here. I'm gonna pull the sample from here. Pull the sample from here. We got kilometer, kilometer and a bit of this stuff. We're gonna sample this all the way. Those two samples are from the road here and up on the bank there. An outcrop. You have a little bit of a rock type change here. Still bonanza volcanics. But different coloration. You have pyrite found as disseminations. Then you also have pyrite where the rock is fractured. The sample came from up here. And there's mineralization in all this area here. There's a bit of a shear zone right here. Above the shear zone, you have more Gossin, and that continues all the way around the corner. Another sample from the outcrop here Pyrite and Gossin. Some of the rocks around here are quite porphyritic. Just around the corner of that Gawson zone. There's no bedrock exposed here. But there is just at that corner right there. One more sample from bedrock here. Bonanza Volcanics, disseminated pyrite. You also have pyrite in the fractures of the rock. Right there. So there actually is some bedrock exposed in between here. You can see Gawson. Some pyrite right there. May as well take a sample from this too. Sample taken off from right here. Fine pyrite in here. Highly altered rock. So some more outcrop here you can see the fine pyrite looks like bonanza volcanics 
another 100 meters down the road. This is where it gets a little interesting here. This outcrop is very, very gossinous. And all these rocks in here are cemented in this finer matrix here. And all these rocks are all mineralized with disseminated iron pyrite. Brecciated. So there is about a dozen of these outcrops that we can see going down the road. We're gonna take some samples from all of these. Another 15 meters away, you got more of that outcropping here. You can see some of this broken open that's been a little bit weathered, driven over in the road. All this is fine, very fine pyrite in it, in all these samples. Similar to the rounded cemented rocks. That's what this looks like. A little bit farther down the road, it's a creek cutting through the mountain there. And take a look at this. The same type of outcrop as the one we were previously at. Here's a rock that was cemented in. And this area here, this gossinous area is about 15 meters tall from here all the way up there. We're going to sample this too. So what this actually looks like here, similar to up there, going back 100 meters you have this exposed as well on the side here. So this actually looks like way back up there, stuff is sloughed down and being cemented in this outcrop like this. Here's a great example. Bonanza Volcanics, fine disseminated pyrite. This was from right there. And another sample from up there. More pyrite around the bend now. And what do you know? Same outcrop, same outcrop down there, and same outcrop down there. Here's a sample taken from a rock cemented in here. Broke it open. We have pyrite. More of the outcrop down here, here and along this bank here. Similar samples we're finding to that last area. Up here, also similar. Pyrite disseminated. Took a sample from over there and over here. This is the first sample here. Pyrite disseminated. Second sample from up here.
just out of the area where all that cemented mineralized rock is we got some bedrock here we're gonna take a sample from here lots of oxidation on this just a little grab from right there more pyrite rock looks pretty silicious Two more samples, one from the outcrop there, one from over here. Iron pyrite. Got lots of pyrite in this one. This looks like quartz with lots of impurities in it. For more information about Cremody Resources mineral properties, visit www.cremodiresources.com.